Hello, Dr. Ron Eaglin here, and I'm going to take you through some challenges of dealing with flat files and data import. First, I'm going to show you, um, this is the actual, some of the data um, associated with the college scorecard. And if you look at the top, you'll notice that I've got all these fields, and they've got some very cryptic names here, okay, such as, oh, well, that one's easy, women only, but Relafil. Sat VR25. Well, of course, whenever you have this situation, you're going to have a data dictionary. And I have downloaded the data dictionary, and I'm going to go ahead and open that data dictionary, which is a CSV file. Came to me as a comment to limited, so I need to choose CSV. And um, the reason I'm bringing this one up in Excel is it allows me to do the cleaning of this data. Um, whoops, CSV, and it's in my downloads. It allows me to clean it much easier. So this is the data dictionary, and I'm going to import the, both the data dictionary and the data into the database. But when I import the data dictionary into Excel, I notice that I've got a bunch of rows with nothing in them. That's going to be important because if you want to import the data dictionary into your database also, which I'm going to do here, um, I can't have these blank rows. So um, I'm going to have to look at this and say, well, what can I do about the blank rows? Well, if I look at what actually the blank rows mean, let's look at the first blank row. It's 14 underneath flag for main campus. I also have a developer friendly name called main campus. Well, both of these rows deal with the main campus, 0 and 1. 0, not main, 1, main. Hmm. So. The only problem with this flat file here is that these blanks okay, don't do anything for me. I need them to not be blank. Well, what's the actual value you want in that row? You want flag for main campus. It's also a flag for main campus. Same thing. It's just giving you the two values associated with the flag for the main campus. Now. Obviously, this is going to require a little bit of normalization to take this out because what you've got here is a category with a couple of, with a, which a coded field. And I could write code in the import to do this, but you know what? I want to get this import done and I want to get it done pretty much straightforward. Now, what I could do, I've got a couple ways of handling this because what I'm really interested in is the name of the data element and the variable associated with it. I want I just want that. But you know, at some point I might need to know what values it can take on and what those values mean. So maybe I really do need this, all this this other information. I am going to however get rid of the notes just to simplify here, so I'm going to delete that column there. Now, I've got to, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do to solve this. Well, here's something I can do. Let's go ahead and insert a column right here between A and B. And um, I'm going to make the header for this column the same as the header for that column. Same header. Now, I'm going to write an equation in Excel. Equals. I'm going to use an if-then statement. If this is equal to, if it's got a value, it's not blank, I'm just going to put it in the new column. I want to make it the same. So let's say if it's equal to a blank string, then, well, if it's equal to a blank string, what do I want to do? Well, you do know that if it's equal to a blank string, you can take the one above it and use that value. Okay, so let's try that. So if I take the value of the row above it, and if it's not a blank string, just take it as the value and then close it. So if I put that there, well, the first one makes a lot of sense. Okay, you got this. Here it is, right? Now, some of this other stuff is kind of odd, like this, this column here that's got nothing in it. Okay, so you're going to have to look for those, predominant degree awarded. Okay, notice that that column's got the whole thing in there. Well, that's, um, you know, that's a little bit too much there. But let's just take this, you know, before we go through there, let's take this and let's copy it down a couple times. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay, well, let's just now bring it down. But let's bring it down to this last one that we saw here, flag for main campus, flag for main campus. Well, now notice that in column B, the flag for the main campus showed up in both. Well, that's what you want. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Let's look at this, this one here. Well, here's another problem. Okay, so when you're dealing with this data and you got this huge label, 
Well, the label is now a duplication of the fields below it. So what I might need to do here in this, this part here is get rid of all that for the predominant degree awarded. So now I got another part of cleanup. Now what I could do to solve that is I could truncate. Okay, I could truncate the numbers a little bit and or, you know the level of it because obviously it makes doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this thing such a big field. Okay, well if I do that, well let's see what happens if I can. Now if I take this and I copy it down again, let's copy it to here. Now as I copy down to this one, okay. This has one, two, three, four, five values. It's a single field, but it's got five values that go with it. If I, whoops, I don't want to copy. I just want to do that one. I want to escape so it's okay. So now when I hit this, I'm going to copy it down. Now, slight problem here. Because if you look what I did, the first one, okay, well, that worked out well it pulled up predominant degree awarded. Well, you expect it because the one to the left is predominant degree awarded. The second one, well, it did exactly what I told it to do also. It said predominant degree awarded and it went to the field above it and voila. But now look, the other ones, zero, zero, zero. Well, that isn't what I wanted. Be, well, but it did what I asked it to do. It went over to here, went up, uh, it went over to this one over here, went one up and copied it over. Huh. So what can I do there? Well, this isn't really that hard. If I think about what I actually need to do here, and I'll go here and I'll modify it, reality is, is if it's the field next to it is not, is not if the field next to it is blank to the left, I actually want the field above it. See what I'm saying there? So if it's blank, instead of bringing the earlier field, I actually just want the field directly above it, which in this case would be B16. So let's try that. Okay, so that worked great. Now I got a message here. Okay, and it is some, let's see what it does when it gets to the inconsistencies here. Let's copy it down. Well, that worked. It got all of them. Is it going to continue to work? Well, let's look at this one here. Again, I ran into the situation where I need to get rid of there's too much stuff here. I need to simplify it. Again, trunking it might do it. Now let's drop this one down and let's copy it down again. I copy it down. Did it work? Well, highest degree awarded and it stayed with the highest degree awarded all the way down. So now let's go to some that are actually bigger here. I can again, I'm going to copy these down and notice all of these have that situation. So let's go through all the way through the FIPS code to the region. Well, that worked. Okay, so what we know now is that the coding of that formula is actually better if I go through the field above. The only one that actually would be a problem with would be the first one because that's got the column header. But what I've done now is I filled in, I have a column that now completely fills in all of these blanks and that will be important because I can't have those blanks Okay, now I'm back. I've done all the hard work here. But if you look at what all I really did here was I went through and did the exact same thing over and over again. So now everything is filled in. There's no gaps or blanks in here. So um, now, of course, there are some gaps in value and label, but those are because they're fields that don't actually have a value and a label associated with them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this source column. I don't really want it right now. I'm just demonstrating what we're doing here. So every column that I actually have something that I want, I've got here. Now, there. now I've selected everything. Control C, okay, and go over to my blank worksheet. And so you know, I saw I, that multi select now. Go up to A1, paste values. Now, the problem with that was it selected, you'll see it got both of those columns. Well, you know, that's not a big deal. Delete, but it is values. So what I can do is the field the, the the ones that I didn't want, I can just knock them out. Or there is a way to actually just select the ones. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I'm always going for the easiest route. But as you can see right here, I have now got a clean spreadsheet of everything, every every row and column filled in the way I want it to. So now I'm ready for some, it's cleaned up the way I want it for data import. So now I do file, 
save as, and I'm going to call this one. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, call this one clean college data dictionary, and now I'm ready to import that directly into my spreadsheet, into my database, and it's it's the way I want it. So hopefully this helps you out getting through some of the, the challenges of doing this.